Hello everyone, the topic is RPI system from removal partial edges. Now there are various special types of removal partial edges and RPI system is one of them. Now what is this RPI? So R it stands for rest, P is for proximal pain and I is for I bar. So I bar is nothing but it is a direct retainer. So what is direct retainer and rest? About that I have already covered in the videos and I am linking that down in the description box. This direct retainers, they are classified intracoronal and extracoronal and extracoronal, they are divided again into two types that is occlusally approaching and gingivally approaching. Now this eye bar, it is a gingivally approaching type of direct retainer. So in the video of direct retainer, I have already explained the difference between this occlusally approaching and gingivally approaching direct retainer. So now what is rest? So rest is a component of the removal partial edges that transfers the forces along the long axis of the tooth. So it is transversing all the forces along the long axis of the tooth of the abutment teeth and the prepared surface on this abutment it is known as a rest seat. Now I have already covered about that also. Now what is proximal plate? So the proximal plate it is a portion of removal partial denture metal framework that engages the guide plane. So what is guide plane? Guide plane is nothing but it is the distal surface of the abutment tooth. So if this is the distal surface of your abutment tooth, so the proximal plate, it will go and it will engage over here. So that is nothing but a proximal plate. So this is basically the three basic components of the system that is the retainer, proximal plate and the rest. So now this RPI system, it was devised by Kroll in 1973 and it is a modified type of eye bar retainer system. Now what is basically this eye bar retainer system? So I'll explain this in very short so that you'll get an idea what these modifications are. So again eye bar system, it is a special type of removal partial denture. So this eye bar, it was designed by Kratochewil in 1963 to reduce the tooth contact of the retainer. Now your conventional retainer, they have like they contact the abutment teeth excessively. So this is basically a eye bar remover partial denture. So the three main components again are the rest, proximal plate and the direct retainer. Now in this direct retainer is a eye bar direct retainer. Whereas in a conventional type you will see the most commonly used direct retainer are the occlusally approaching. So this is the basic difference between the direct retainer. Now the next difference it lies in the rest. So over here now you will see in the eye bar RPD the rest is given on the mesial surface of the abutment tooth whereas in conventional the rest they are on the distal surface so this is the difference between the rest and the last is the difference between this proximal plate so in this now in this eye bar the proximal plate they are very long whereas so in the conventional type of removal partial dentures this proximal plate they have the normal length but there's a problem with this proximal plate because you'll see there's a space which is present between the tooth and tissue contact so now where your tooth and tissue it gets contact so over here now you'll see in the normal in the conventional rpd there's a space which is present over here so because of that there is impingement of the foot the foot it gets impacted in this area then there can be hypertrophy of the tissue so to avoid that what we are doing in this eye bar is we are creating or we are making this proximal plate very long and we even cover this to tissue contact so this is the basic three difference between the conventional and the eye bar. So now we'll see about what this RPI system is. So the principle, it states that there is stress control with minimum tooth and the gingival coverage. So in this, the RPI system, so the principle which is given by Kroll, he says that the stress, it is controlled and we have to like contact, we have to cover the tooth minimally. The speciality of this denture is the unit of the class, they act in the mesodistal direction. Now, whereas, so in the convention, you'll see that the class, they act in the buccolingual direction. Whereas in this dentures, in this RPI system, you'll see that the units, so that is this reciprocal arm and the retentive arm, they are acting in the mesodistal direction. So you have to remember this very well. Now, the modification we are going to see is in all the three components. So first is, we'll see the modification, what was done in the mesial rest modifications. So in this, it extends only into the triangular fossa for the molars. Now over here, this is a molar. Now when you are creating this rest, so in the eye bar type, you will see that it is even covering the central fossa. So this rest, it is made or it is extended till the central fossa. Whereas in this, now you will see it is extending only in this triangular fossa. So this is the first difference. 
the next is the canine rays they are circular so in this now in the normal case you will see or in the eye bar you will see that the shape of this canine rest it is a type of a boomerang shape whereas in this in the rpi system you will see the canine rest they are circular so this means that you are covering the tooth as minimally as possible so this becomes a conservative type of rest which is done for the mesial rest so this becomes your mesial rest modification now the next modification is in the proximal plate so this modification there are like three types of modification which are given so there is first design modification in which the proximal plate it is designed to extend from the marginal ridge to the junction between the middle and the cervical third now in the normal scenario in the eye bar we have seen that your proximal plate it is like very long and it is extending or it is covering the tooth tissue junction and then it extends beyond that tooth tissue junction 2 mm into the edentulous space now over here you will see this proximal plate so the first modification is the proximal plate it is from the marginal ridge and it extends at this junction so it is this much so the length of your proximal plate is this much that it is from the marginal ridge till the junction of the middle and the cervical third so this is your middle and this is the cervical third so the junction between these two is the length for your proximal plate now the second modification is it extends along the entire length of the proximal surface of the abutment with minimum tissue relief so in this you'll see that it is extending along the entire length of your proximal surface so this is your second modification the relief it is provided near the gingival margin at the tooth tissue junction and that allows the proximal plate to disengage into the proximal undercut during the occlusal overloading so basically you are giving that tissue relief at the gingival margin at the tooth tissue junction so now where your tooth and tissue it meet so that becomes your tooth tissue junction so the relief it is given at this gingival margin now the next modification is the third modification so it states that the contact it is just about 1 mm of the gingival third of the guiding plane of the abutment tooth so now in this the purpose of reducing the length of the proximal plate is to improve the gingival health now in normal we have seen the proximal plate it extends 2 mm beyond this tooth tissue junction now over here you will see that the contact it is just about 1 mm of the gingival third so this is your gingival third so it is 1 mm below that so this is the third modification third modification design for your proximal plate so these are your three modification for the proximal plate and the last modification is for the direct retainer that is your i bar modification so in this now this is your direct retainer now this is a i shaped bar so it becomes like this in the normal scenario whereas over here now in this rpi system the shape of this i bar it becomes a pod shape so the tip is a pod shape in this so as to increase the tooth contact so this is the three modifications for your i bar system now what is this rpi system so rpi system is nothing so this is a modification for the rpi system itself now why because now this r again it stands for rest p is for proximal plate and a is for acus class that is the occlusally approaching direct retainer now we are using rpa in rpa we are using a occlusally approaching whereas now we have seen in rpi we use a gingivally approaching direct retainer so this is because now this rpi system it cannot be used in the patient who have soft tissue undercuts and who have high frenal attachment so because of that we cannot like make a direct retainer which is approaching gingivally so for that we need to make the direct retainer which is approaching occlusally in the case of soft tissue undercut and in the case of high frenal attachment so this is just a modification of the rpi